other side of, of the project. These are the facilities that we're building, uh, both for our customers but also for the operation to actually uh, manage uh, what's going on, keep the vehicles flying, and uh, keep our, our customers happy. Um, so this is the terminal hangar facility. We'll come up with a better name at some point, but for the time being, the terminal hangar facility. It's called that because it's exactly what it says on the can. Um, we have hangar facilities, which if you look through the stanchions there, you can see the, the, the area that's gravelled at the moment. Obviously that will be concreted out. And we have a large hangar there, um, which has space for two white knights and up to five spaceships. Um, it's a slightly unusual hangar compared to most, as much as a drive-through hangar. So white knight can enter from one side and exit on the other side. Uh, that's ultimately because as we get more frequent flights, we'll be processing the vehicles through, through the facilities. You know. Um, in terms of the rest of the facility, the, the terminal element of it, don't think of this as an airport terminal. It's far from it. Um, this is much more than an airport terminal. It's the preparation facilities really for our customers. And the whole design of the building has really been oriented around those customers. Uh, everything, the way it's laid out, is so that we can effectively and efficiently prepare our customers for the flight. And uh, we've got some nice touches that will be going in, which we'll hear about in a future future time, we're not giving it all away just yet today. Can um, I ask you kind of a question that's been back in my head, maybe it's maybe one of your future things? Sure, yep. You know, we've had the conversations about, um, you know, how these people, like, for example, you're doing a two flights a day or three flights a day, six passengers to the vehicle, and they're bringing all their, their cousins up full of entourage. Is there any way that they're going to be able to view the, that person's flight live somehow? Are you trying to figure out some way to do that? And would there be a viewing room Absolutely. for that? Absolutely. Let me uh, explain a bit more then about the facilities, because uh, yeah. that answers that question very nicely. So uh, let me just start at the back end of the building and we'll come across. The back end of the building really is all of the uh, functional administrative parts of the building. So we've got our offices there, we've got the maintenance facilities, the stores and so on will be on that side. Uh, another nice piece which I'll come on to in a minute is also the public visitor experience, which I'll talk about shortly. You then get access to this side of the building uh, from the bridge. There's a bridge that goes across the hangar and enters into this on the third floor of this facility. Uh, the third floor is the astronaut lounge. It's the exclusive lounge that we're creating for the astronauts. It's where they can relax, it's where we can brief them, talk to them about what's going on, and they'll have all the facilities they need. They've got a great balcony up there with views reaching out across the, the, the valley there, um, and it's uh, you know pretty, pretty special up there. Um, the only people that will be allowed in that lounge are astronauts. So if you want to go up there when it's finished, you've got to buy a ticket. Um, be below that, as we drop down, we then start moving through the rest of the facilities. And just to give you a taste, we've got things like uh, training facilities, we've got fitting rooms for, for clothing for the flight, um, and then we've got probably one of the most important parts of the building, mission control. And that's what's immediately above us right now. There's a, a large area there, which is where we've controlled all the missions from. There will be some viewing available from there. So, for example, if we have customers who are in the building but not yet flying, they'll be able to see some of the mission activity from that area as well. And then we drop down to this floor, and this floor is exactly for, for the friends and family. So the friends and family can bring, so the astronauts can bring some friends and family with them, and we're creating this space down here for those, uh, those friends and family. We will have video feeds, we'll have um, lots of information for them to see so they understand what's going on. It'll be quite an interactive area, so we can give them some education as well. Uh, and they can really start to understand, <coughs> see what's happening with the missions as they as they perform the the, uh, the flights and so on. Um, we've also got some other facilities in here, which are really for the returning astronauts when they come back, so they can come and see their friends and family. And uh, uh, let's let's hope that they're terribly excited still at that point, and uh, you know they're going to be able to come back and, and welcome themselves back down to Earth. Really, um, the the interior design is well underway at the moment. Uh, what you can see now is what we're referring to, referring to as, the, as the base build construction. Um, the building itself, the main building, is, has been designed by Foster Partners. Um, that project started a good number of years ago, a couple of years ago, uh, and it's taken quite a good deal of hard work to get it to where we are today. Um, a couple of sort of technical things, I don't know if we've got any technical journalists in the room, um, but there's, uh, the roof is probably one of the most unique features about this, this structure. Uh, there's about 960 tonnes of steel above your head at the moment. Um, How much steel? 960 tonnes of steel. We've got a curved roof, there are three main peaks, but every single member of steel, except for the perimeter edge, are straight pieces. So it's a very complex structure that we went up to 
create effectively this floating roof that you can see. Um, below that, you've then got the main facilities, and as I said, these were designed specifically for the astronauts.